Today we're going to be taking a look at part number CU856333. This is the Come Up DV9 winch with the wire rope design. It's going to have a single line pull rating of 9,000 pounds. The winch is going to feature your heavy duty sealed contactor. Uh, it's going to contain silver alloy contact pads and thick copper bus bars. It's going to be a submersible construction to ensure water resistance. Uh, we got the heavy duty series wound motor that's going to deliver superior torque output and faster line speed. And on this side, we're going to have the clutch system, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And we're going to have our braking system. Now, the braking system is an automatic full load CBS system. CBS stands for cone brake structure. The braking mechanism is mounted outside the drum rather than inside the drum. This helps disperse heat at a faster pace. Uh, the winch features a tough aluminum die cast housing with steel drum. It's going to come with your industrial grade waterproof remote control. It's going to feature a thermometric LED indicator on the switch that's going to automatically alert you when the motor is on the verge of overheating. Uh, the toggle switch is protected with these sidewalls right here. It's a nice compact design, fits right in the palm of your hand. It's got finger indentions here on the back side for an easy grip and it's going to have the wrist strap. Now that's going to be connected to about 17 feet of cord. It's going to have the plug on it that's going to plug directly into the mating connection here on top of our box. Uh, that connector is also going to have the dust cap on it, so when we don't have our remote control plugged in, simply keep those connection points safe from the elements by using that dust cap. Now this is going to have a 9,000 pound rated single line pool. At max load, the winch is going to have a line speed of 6.4 feet per minute with a power draw of 350 amps at 12 volts. With no load on the wire rope, we're looking at a line speed of 44 feet per minute with a power draw of 55 amps at 12 volts. The motor is going to be a 4.6 horsepower, 12 volt series wound motor. Here on the clutch side, we're going to have our ergonomic T handle. This is going to engage the free spool clutch through multiple evenly spaced locking holes. Um, right now it's in the engaged position. That means that we could hook up our controller and we could extend our rope out or bring it in. If we flip this up and rotate it, now it's in a disengaged position. That's going to allow the a rope to go into a free spool mode so we can grab the end of the rope, take it out, hook it up to our load or to our anchor point uh, quickly and effectively. Another neat feature I like about this unit is if you don't like where the T-handle is positioned, uh, maybe you need it right here at an angle or towards the back, what you can do is you can loosen up the hardware right here and you can rotate this area and that's going to rotate the location of the T-handle to best fit your application. It's going to come with all your necessary wiring and hardware. You're going to get your battery leads, all the wires that connect the contactor to the motor. Uh, all the posts are going to be uh, labeled um, according to the instructions. Uh, it's all on a letter and number scale. So you simply connect A to A, F1 to F1, and then uh, they're going to be color coded as well. So we got white, yellow, and blue and then you'd connect F2 to F2. So not only are the wires coded, but the posts that they connect to are going to be coded as well, which makes installation a little bit easier. Then your black and red wires have the ring terminals on them. Those are going to be uh, for your battery leads. You're going to get all your hardware um, that's necessary for mounting. Now when mounting, you do want to install your winch on a flat solid surface or use a mounting bracket. Mounting brackets are going to be sold separately. Um, but that's what's recommended in the instructions is a flat solid surface or a channel bracket or mounting bracket. This winch is going to feature your rugged, quiet, three-stage planetary gear system for maximum mechanical advantage. It's actually going to feature a gear ratio of 156 to 1. It's going to come with your roller fair lead. Uh, your fair lead is going to attach to the mounting surface. It does not attach directly to the winch. And then your wire rope has the hook or the loop on this end that your hook connects to, that would run through these center rollers right here. So anytime the wire rope makes contact with one of the edges, that's going to roll freely, which is going to reduce the amount of friction applied to the wire rope, which over uh, the long haul is going to extend the life of the wire rope. Now the drum size is going to measure two and a half inches in diameter by nine inches in length. It's going to feature an A7 by 19 galvanized aircraft grade wire rope. That's going to measure 21 64 of an inch in diameter by 100 feet in length. It's also going to come with your forged steel hook. Um, it has the safety latch mechanism on it. It's going to be spring-loaded. 
to prevent accidental disconnecting. It's going to connect to the loop right here with your pin and clip, and it's going to come with a hand saver strap. Now on the underside of our winch, I'll try to flip this back so you can see it, we're going to have four bolt holes, uh, two on each side, center on center, from this one to this one going lengthways. That's going to be about 10 inches, and then front to back, center on center, that's going to be four and a half inches. The winch itself is going to weigh around 72 pounds, 72 to 73 pounds with the rope installed. It's going to give us a length of 23.7 inches long. It's going to give us a width from front to back of 6.3 inches wide. And from the bottom of the winch to the top of the T-handle, we're looking at 7.1 inches tall. The reason why I don't include the box in those measurements is because the box can be mounted a couple different ways. You can mount it the way I have it mounted now, which is using um, the clamps that it comes with to wrap around the motor or on the back side, it's going to have these little channels. And it's going to come with the hardware. So it has these channels back here that you can mount. I don't know if you can see those or not. But it's got these channels uh, that provide just an alternative mounting option. And it does come with that hardware if you choose to mount your winch um, box that way. But that's going to do it for today's look at part number CU856. 333. Three, three.